Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. So, um, some type of commitment, marriage has come to an end, and it does, it looks like it has not come to an end in a great way, okay? There was betrayal, there was backstabbing, there was a lot of pain, there was a lot of hurt there. Like, it was a bad ending. Whether this was with you or with somebody that's in your energy, somebody, you know, this could be your twin that's going through an ending separate from the situation with you, or this could be you that has recently gone through a breakup. So, we have the Nine of Wands here, or this is what is in the, you know, imminent to happen, Nine of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups, we have Waiting, we have the Four of Cups. Why do I really feel like somebody tried to put you on the back burner? Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Hanged Man, yeah, I definitely feel like somebody was trying to keep you stuck or stagnant, like... But I feel like you guys are like on your last limb or you guys maybe have already already closed out a cycle here. Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords. See, somebody's rushing towards you. Somebody sees you as their happily ever after. They could be maybe be popping back in out of nowhere saying that they they, they want a family with you. They want a union with you. It's about waiting. Yeah, the Dark Knight of the Soul. See, yeah. There definitely has been an ending, but somebody has still, still been hopeful for a return or like a, um, a a reconciliation here. But somebody is going through the dark night of the soul. Same with the four of cups. Maybe you guys are aware that this is your person and you know that they need to heal. You know that they need to go through this um, and that's just not the right time for the two of you to be together. So yeah, for the ember, who feels like this? See the four of wands and the eight of swords. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody was feeling trapped in some type of commitment here or a living situation. But with the Ace of Swords, there's been some type of, like, breakthrough here. Some type of change. Yep, there's that Ten of Swords I saw when I was shuffling. Somebody is making up their minds. It's like, one of, it's like whatever they were involved in, they've made up their mind to end that situation. Has it come to an end already, or is this the future? Has it ended? The Six of Wands? Yes, I think it did. Did it come to an end? manifesting you they want you back okay but what about the third party situation the knight of pentacle what? either there's they're trying to they're slowly withdrawing from that situation or they have ended that situation but they're slowly moving towards you why is that oh sexual encounter what about that oh ow um we have Page of Cups, Healing, the Queen of Wands. Somebody knows that they need to change and they need to heal, but they want you sexually. I'm going to just be honest with what I'm seeing here. It's like they know that they need to change and heal, and I think they are going through the dark night, dark night of the soul. I think that they did have an ending, okay? Yeah, I do feel like the divine intervened. There was a tower or something that happened like that. Like they could, there was like, it came to a point where they could no longer run it like, avoid ending that other situation so i do feel like they have ended that other situation and they're well aware they want to have a new opportunity with you but i think that they know that they're not ready for the full-blown thing with you right so i do feel that they want to have a sexual encounter with you though i'm gonna be honest i feel like they still they're going through the dark night of the soul but at the same time they're hoping that you reach out to them or that you know <sighs> why is the four of cups and the emperor here aries energy we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else do we have? We had um, there was a, we have a uh, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have pretty much everything out here. We don't have a whole lot of. We have a little bit of air. Yeah, Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, they're bored or they're kind of feeling like, yeah, this is somebody that had options or something, guys. But they're bored with those other options. They view you're the one that's fulfilling to them. But what's the problem is that they're not ready. Yeah, divine timing is at play. This person has a lot of growing up to do with the children card coming out. They're not ready. Yeah, ghosting. This person, um, mirroring. You guys both to some extent kind of feel like things are kind of left unfinished between the two of you. Could be a, a, a water sign you're dealing with, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. They definitely do want something stay steady with you, but I don't feel like they're ready. They know that they're not ready. They still, they know that they still need to go through some growth here. Um, so I feel like they've been trying to stay away from you. Yeah. 
because they know that they have to do right by you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. What changed here? See, yeah, uh, whatever they were feeling trapped in, there has been a change in that situation because of some type of clarity or truth that was revealed here. I feel like they've also awakened to how they feel about you, but it's like they feel like they're not, they can't have it right now. Because, like, there's maybe certain things you won't tolerate or they have to, they, they feel like they have to make certain changes before you will allow them to come back. Are they, what are they about to do here? Because I see them coming in suddenly out of the blue. So something ended for this person and I do feel like they're trying to heal, but they can't help the fact that they, they, they want you sexually. They, they want, they're bored. They don't like, they're, they're entertaining other people or they were, but none of them are you. What is this 10 of cups and this knight of swords? The page of pentacles. I'm telling you, you're about to receive communication from this person. Some type of small offer. Okay. Tell me more. Four of pentacles though. What does this do with anything? Four of pentacles. Wishing. Somebody has just been holding on to you. I don't think they've been speaking to you, but they've been holding on to you. Kind of like really not liking the distance between the two of you. Um, still holding on to you, but yeah, they're going to read. I feel like you're going to hear from them. Knight of Pentacles, though. They're going to maybe say like, look, like I still got a lot of work to do on myself, but like, can we just take things slow or something like that? Tell me more. See, what is forbidden here? It's almost like this person knows that the pace that they want to progress things, you're not going for it. Like, if, if there's even any progress that you see when you're dealing with this person, it's like, they want to move, take things very, very slow. And I feel like that's maybe not what you're wanting, okay? Like, and I feel like this person is watching you and it's making them feel like, see, what about money focus? Seven of cups, see? You're the, what they really wanted. You bring them happiness and fulfillment. But for some reason, this person has been choosing money over love or something over love. They're watching you, though. They're watching you. They're kind of feel. Oh, they're kind of feeling like. Yeah, putting your. They want. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Whatever they got to do to be with you. They feel like by the time they get done doing this, you're going to be gone. Like they're, they're viewing you as like a missed opportunity or whatever they ha would have to offer you at this time. They know that you would reject it or something like that. Yeah, they have like an addiction. This person's also maybe obsessed with you. But yeah, destructive habit. Yeah, what a catch though. World. They feel like you're their end all be all. To be honest, Libra energy. The subject of my twin flame collective. Divinely guided and magician. See, yeah, what you want won't see you. Hard to, this person's not going to be able to let you go, but this person's resisting change. What about the four of wands? They're like, they've been having a hard time letting go of some type of, um, I'm telling you, whatever that was that they were having a hard time letting go of, that came to an end badly. What, what's the ten of swords? There was some type of change there. That may be good. You maybe got some type of karma when it came to that. Yeah, look beyond what you see. Pisces, there was maybe a secret. What about the high priestess? The four of swords that made them withdraw was a secret revealed here what caused the ten of swords yeah whatever it was yeah left out in the cold feeling rejected i mean somebody could have rejected them or they rejected somebody they left somebody out in the cold or there could have been like some type of financial loss i don't know but maybe somebody feels like feels that like they were in the dark about something what is this pisces energy i'm telling you there was some type of deception seven of swords cheating there was a lie or a secret something that came out that's why they finally walked away from that other person what does this have to do with my collective though they want to re-spark things with you because something was revealed about the third party that they were dealing with there was some type of deception or lie when it came to that person what's this have to do with tell me more about what the seven of swords was mm, something that was inconsiderate cold this was divine intervention, though. It made this person realize, like, yeah, it made them finally release something here. So what is it that this person feels like? Maybe this person feels like they need to work on their finances. They need to prioritize their finances, um, you know, and getting financial. Especially if, like, when they left this person with the Five of Pentacles, it, they took some type of financial loss. There's other things that need this person's time and attention right now. They know that they don't really have much to offer you, okay? Uh, what was that card that just came out? 
Yeah, it's like they're trying to figure out something with work. They're very focused on work or something like that. So, what are they? Three of Wands. They're going to do something that's inconsiderate. Try to keep you waiting on them or something like that. Manif yeah, because they want you back. Mirroring. What about mirroring? Chariot and the Three of Swords. What about the Three of Swords? The Ace of Wands. It's like they hurt too. I'm telling you, they hurt too. But it's like this ending needed to occur so that you could maybe like go within and so that they could go within as well so that you can be enlightened about some things so that they can be enlightened about some things. And I feel like they're going to want to respark this, but they definitely put you in a third party situation. But I'm pretty sure that third party betrayed them. I don't know in what way, but I'm pretty sure. And it's like they still need to heal from whatever they went through. Because I feel like whoever this other person was, they were with that person long term. Like it wasn't just a flame. Yeah. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They're holding on to the thought of... What, but what, before I say that, what's the Seven of Cups, though? It's like they're holding on to you. But they have—they feel like they have so many other things that they... It's like they can't really place all their focus on you because there's a lot of other things that they still maybe need to... Ooh, this person has a lot of like... What do they need to walk away from still? Yeah, they need to close out some type of cycle or even cycles. Divinely guided to what? To, yeah. Some of you guys have maybe felt tempted to reach out to this person or to engage with them again, but somebody is also trying to tame their, their desire for you, okay? Six of Wands. What's Six of Wands? Date. It's like they maybe feel like they have to reach some type of achievement or something like that before you guys can start dating. It's like the Eight of Swords and the Death card. It's like they, whatever they felt trapped in or stuck in or couldn't make up their mind about, that situation has come to an end. Um, they know that they want to come towards you. And I feel like this person's going to tell you that you make them happy and they want a family with you. But I want to see, though. Here I go being nosy. Um, what, was, what was the secret? What was the secret that was revealed? What did they find out? What did this person find out, Spirit? Okay, those came out weird. Lies. See, somebody was trying to control them. Somebody um lied to them in a means to try to control them or keep them from making a decision that wouldn't benefit them, okay? Um, why do I feel like this person did the same thing to you, though? Yeah, but we have they use the, the situation to make you feel guilty for expressing your concerns in the first place. In an effort to control your behavior, they lied to you. Tell me more. So they were lied to and they were manipulated? What what did they find out? What was the deception? See, gossip. See, they are complaining to others about you. So it's almost so what it tell me more. The wounded. They cheat to fill an emotional void or plays the victim role. What's that do with the person that they're twin? They can engage in some criminal activity, theft, fraud, or use. See, somebody stole from them, or they found out that their person was on drugs, or that they had committed fraud. It's something crazy weird. So somebody was, and they were cheating. Your person found out a lot of things. See, money matters. Pretend to have less or more than they really do. See, if they chose somebody for money, yep, scheming. They are making secret and underhanded plans. See, this person knew exactly what they were doing. Suffering from paranoia, just, just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad. Wow. Wow. Oh, somebody even maybe did witch spell work. Oh, no. This reading. Why did I even get this? Jealousy. Their jealousy has become toxic and careful. Not, don't be too trusting. Okay, guys. So how do I piece this together so you guys can understand? There was somebody who they maybe shared. I don't know. They were gossiping about you to somebody, right? Or somebody was gossiping about them. Somebody did maybe want your person. They tried to control what your, how, you know, they were cheating on your person. This person's also maybe involved in something illegal here. I feel like they maybe, especially if your person was money hungry or they felt like they needed help financially or something like that. This third party told your person that they had more money than they actually did or that they were going to give them more money than they actually were, were going to give to them. Like, they have less. They have, I feel like they have less than what your, because the five of pentacles was there. 
Or they just, if they promised your person some money, they never gave it to them. It was something like that. But they like promised your person a lot to control their behavior. Because I feel like this person is jealous. Okay. I feel like this person was maybe jealous that they tried to guilt trip your person. There was gossip surrounding the, the connection. But somebody was cheating. It's like they were scheming. They're like, how can I get this person to not leave me and to not go towards the collective? They were paranoid. Like they, they started letting their paranoia, like this was very toxic between them and this person. They maybe even resorted to doing spell work here to try to control the situation. This person, somebody was trying to maintain control over them. I feel like with the eight of swords, I feel like somebody did maybe have like spell work involved and did have some type of control over your person for a time being. But I feel like your person found out about it they, your person found out that this person was cheating. So I don't, I'm not even going to go there. I was going to say, this person maybe... I hope they didn't find out that somebody was selling their body, okay? Um, may, if your person cheated on them before, now, you know like when somebody cheats and then you're always worried, like, if you stay, if the person chooses to stay, they're always worried that the person is going to cheat on them again. So your per, But it's like, this person, whoever this third party is, they don't have enough self-worth to just walk away from this person. They, it's like, they got cheated on possibly, but they still want your person. They're just sitting over there always worried and paranoid and they're resorting to doing crazy shit, lying, scheming, manipulating to try to get your person to not leave them all the way. Like they know that this person cheats on them, but they also don't want to lose them. So they resort to lying to them, like bribing them with money, guilt tripping them, like lie, just telling lies here, scheming, black magic. Okay, guys, like, it's crazy. Yep, they're trying to get empathy from you. Mm -hmm. They try to make your person guilt, you guilt your person. Yep. This, this third party may even have, see, like, I feel like this person has an emotional connection with you. And see, has secret money. They have a secret credit card or hidden money that they're hiding from you. See, I feel like this person was hiding from you that they were with somebody for money or that they... They were getting money from somebody else or something like that. But I feel like your intuition told you or showed you. I feel like this person tried to guilt trip you too. But they definitely have a third party around them that's jealous and wanted to keep them and control them. They didn't want to lose your person. But I feel like they know that your person has another person. I think they know that your person cheats. But they don't want to lose your person either. So Whew, that got messy real quick, y'all. All right, so let's see. What is this person want with my collective what's about to happen here they could have been telling your person like oh well if you you leave me i'm gonna take this this and that from you like it's yeah messy see they see the potential and the connection with you they're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. It's like this this third party either knows about you or they just can sense or know that your person has an emotional connection with somebody else. So it's like they've been trying to pretty much like buy this person's love, lie, lie to get this person's love. Like, yeah, oh. we have family tree. There's For some of you, it could be a parent too that is trying to keep your person stuck or away from you, but yeah. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. We have Taming the Beast, which that already kind of came out. Um, yeah, you make them putty on your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. This person knows that to be with you, they're going to have to change. And um, they know that's why they that's why they view as the forbidden fruit. Yeah, message. They're going to reach out. They want some, but it's like they, they know that if they're going to reach out to you, they need to come towards you with something. You know, they have to be able to offer you something. They're going to have to be able to do right by you. And I don't know... So what about that wishing well? It's almost like right now they're, they've been trying not to come towards you. They're hoping that in the future they will be able to provide that with you. But right now they're trying to figure out how they can do right by you. They're trying to get their situation in order to be able to do right by you. But I still feel like this person might cave. I mean, or like when they do come back, it's going to be kind of just out of the blue. Like this is somebody that has been actively trying to like remove situations from their life. If they had options, they're trying to clear those options. If they had a third party, they're seeing the, that third party for who they are and they're letting them go. I do see a, a bad ending between the two of them. There was a betrayal there. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the third party lied to them to keep them from coming towards you. Whew. 
Ooh, guys. But it's like they're pretty much just, it says there's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken a new life in them that has, lost, has them lost in a field of possibility. So right now, they're kind of just dreaming about a future with you. All right. Um, we do have choices here, though. What are they not making a choice about? I don't like that. Taking aim. I feel like they were indecisive, but I feel like they're at some point are going to shoot their shot here. They know that you didn't deserve whatever they did. Yeah, you're going to get messed communication and gesture. They're going to want to be like, give me a chance to prove myself. The, the situation is turning in your favor. Yeah, they're in regret. Mm -mm. Fairy tale. They, they, they thought you were too good to be true. They think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them you are too perfect to believe it's true. Mm. It's hard for them to stay away from you. Um, they, this person knew that you were the, you were the one or that there was something special about this connection from the first time that they met you. Um, yeah, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. Yeah. Now at the time, your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindica vindicated. What is choices, though? Are they still in that indecisive energy? The player. So are they... So for some of you, it's not even between you and this third party anymore. This is somebody... Who is just not sure. I told you, whoever this third party was knew that your person had multiple people or was cheating on them. Um, and I think that they just kind of like, it's almost like the third party didn't care when it was just hooking up. But when they found out that they had an emotional connection with somebody, like somebody that they saw a future with, like somebody that they really actually liked, they got jealous as hell. And I don't know how they found out about it. I don't know if like there was gossip. So I don't know if like a family member told their ex or somehow their ex found out that they had somebody else um that they that they that they wanted to be with you know like they really loved and that they really liked and that's when this person started like laying on the pressure you know when somebody feels like they're like they don't care until like they really feel like they're about to lose you that's what this person did to them and i feel like that's when they 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 it, they start, it, they were confused they didn't know what to do yeah i feel like this person the choice is between them being a continuing this player lifestyle and choosing to settle down with you but it says the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Yeah. All right, guys.